Welcome back to Fast Freddy RC, and today we're going to start the build process of the new Tamiya Opal Cadet GTE on the new Tamiya MB01 chassis. Now, this is interesting. It's a little different to the BT01 because there's less options. This car can be built uh, front motor, front drive, or rear motor, rear drive. The only other option that you have with this is if you do this in the MR version, so mid-motor rear drive, you can uh, change the motor position to be basically centered in the middle in a high position, which is designed to give the car more traction. So I want to build this mid-motor rear drive because this is a rear-wheel drive car. So this manual is specifically for that configuration. If you wanted to do this as a front wheel drive car, well then you have to look at their supplement uh, instructions designed to convert this into front wheel drive. Now, I'm not going to be doing that, but the one thing we are going to need to take off of this is this. It says motor position. And as you can see, there's a different way that this goes together if you're choosing to go with the high motor position. And this one I am going to do. I want to have it built so that there's more traction on the rear. And this apparently is the setup that you want to be able to have more traction. So the main manual for this MB01 chassis build is going to be this. Now I do say always get yourself a full set of ball bearings before you get started on the build. And you're just going to find that the car is going to run smoother. Um, there'll be less wear and tear on the parts. But there is another reason why you want to add bearings, which is let's say you want to put in a sport tuned motor in this forget the the standard silver can you want to put in a sport tuned the instructions on a sport tuned literally says take the car apart put in ball bearings before using it because the the plastic and the metal are going to wear out so my suggestion as a whole get yourself a full set of ball bearings regardless because if you decide you want to do any upgrades later on with the motor you're already prepared and you don't have to tear anything down. So let's get to taking a look at the instructions for this. Now I'm not going to go through some of this stuff, but I will go through most of it. Now you can see step one, the battery. Um, for those that know me, I don't do that until I'm actually ready to go. So we're going to be skipping over that during the build process. Here is our motor mount, and you notice that it's be they're showing you putting this piece in sideways, whereas in the supplemental um, instructions, you can see it's up and down. So this is what we're going to be referring to um, when we get into step two. Then for step three, we're going to be working on the spur gear. This looks very similar to how the BT-01 chassis is built. Then here we're going to be adding the pinion gear. Again, there are definitely some similarities. Attaching the gear cover. And then in step six, we're going to be attaching the motor mount. And again, it's going to look interesting because the motor is going to be in a high position uh, when we attach this. Then in step seven, we're going to be attaching the RC deck. Very cool. And then in eight, we're going to be attaching the servo mounts. For the most part, if you're familiar with the BT-01, they're very similar chassis. In step nine, you can see we're going to be working on the differential. And then in step 10, we're going to be working on the differential unit one, 11, the differential unit two. And then in 12, we're going to be working on attaching the rear upper arms. Then in step 13, we're going to attach the gear differential unit. It's quite an interesting design. Now, having built the BT-01 now, this isn't new to me. So I, I sort of can see how this is all going to go together much easier than, than before. Then in step 15, we're going to be working on the rear uprights. And then in step 16, we're going to be attaching the rear uprights. And then 17, attaching the rear bumper. Very cool. 
And moving on to step 18, we're going to be working on the sub deck. Very cool. This is where we start to see the two halves of the car come together. In step 19, we're going to attach the front upper arms. In 20, we're going to work on the front lower arms. And then in 21, we're going to attach the front lower arms. 22, we're going to work on the front uprights. 23, we're going to attach the front uprights. And moving on to 24, we're going to attach the front bumper. Very cool. A bit different to the BT-01. 25, we're going to attach the sub deck. So this is the step where we start to put the car together. So the two halves of the car come together in this step. Then in 26, we're going to be working on the dampers. And then in 27, we're going to attach the dampers, both front and rear. Very cool. Then in step 28, we're going to check the RC equipment. And this is all about making sure the servo is in neutral. So we're going to do that. And then in 29, we're going to attach the battery holders. So those are the two pieces on the sides that will hold in the battery. Then in 30, we're going to attach the RC equipment. Very cool. And then in 31, we're going to be working on attaching the wheels uh, to the tires or vice versa. And then in 32, we're going to attach the wheels. Very cool, both front and rear. And then in 33, we're going to be stowing the cables. Very cool. And then in 34, we're working on the front body mount unit. Very cool. And then in 35, we're going to work on the rear body mount unit. And then, of course, in 36, there is our steering rod. And then in 37, we're going to attach the body mount unit. Very cool. And then in 38, we're going to be installing the battery pack. And 39, attaching the antenna pipe. Honestly, I don't think I'll be attaching the antenna pipe because with the new systems, with these 2.4 gigahertz receivers, etc., you don't really need to do this. Um, and you can see here they're talking about they've built something so you can include a transponder. I'm not going to be doing that. Don't need it. Then in step 40, we're going to mark the holes. So we're going to put the holes into the body into all the places where we've got different bits and pieces that are going to need to be attached. And then in 41, we're going to be cutting out the body. Very cool. I do love the, the look of this car. And then in 42, we're going to be painting the body. So I've got to get that all done up so that then for 43, we can decal it all up. It's a, I, I do love the look of this. Very, very cool. And then in 44, you can see we've got quite a few of the decals that need to go on to the front and rear as well. And then in step 45, we're going to be attaching the front bumper and put in our light units. Um, very, very cool. Now you can see that for this car, you can actually get lights for it. The kit doesn't come with the lights with this particular one, but it does mean that the hardware is there if you choose to do so. Um, yourself now I don't I'm not going to do that to begin with but at least it's there and then 47 we can attach fog lamps and again there are holes in the back of these so you can actually have them all running uh, you know the more I look at this the more I wonder maybe I will get lights for this it could be so cool and then in 48 is where we're going to be attaching the body to the car so that should actually be the last step for this kit it is very very cool so this car th there are a lot of similarities between this and the bt01 the m chassis is just a smaller car but the actual chassis itself looks very similar 
The only difference really is that it cannot be built in a front engine rear wheel drive configuration, which is too bad because this car is actually a front motor rear wheel drive. So that does surprise me that you can't build it in that configuration. But I will be getting started on this really soon. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to it because now I can see how similar it is to the BT-01. It'll just be curious to see how it all goes together. So if you are interested in seeing the MB-01 kit being built, you need some help with, with yours or you like this car, do please subscribe, hit the notification button, and uh, as the build videos start to populate, you'll be able to uh, see when each one comes out. So until next time, we'll see you in another video.